Now, your 2 News Oklahoma weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. Well, Annie, dodging all that wind yesterday at all the games, the soccer games, the baseball games, that was a full contact sports for sure, like with all oh. that wind. What are we going to be dodging today? So bad, and then all the winds out there with the <laughs> pollen, too? Yes, everybody's I mean, eyes. Oh, you could just see it like a film of it. Just mm -hmm. And our car doors, you like open the door, you go out the door. <laughs> ripped off the hinges. So is the wind going to be a problem today? <laughs> Thankfully, the wind's actually be a little bit better. Not great. Not great. But better. We'll take better. We'll we take, like better. Yes, we'll take better. I love this live look right now using our Tulsa International Airport. This is all part of Wade's RV Weather Camera Network. You could see a, just like a strong line with those clouds, and that's indicating some changes. Not only changes, but we do have a passing cold front. Now, Julie and I were talking about those winds, and it might be hard to make out, but you could see those flags right now whipping around in the winds right there you can look back off into the distance so we do have some winds but not nearly as strong as what we had this time yesterday so no wind advisories what we are dealing with is a passing cold front so some changes on the way for today current wind gusts uh, we're seeing some variations across the board if you're not seeing a number in your location it's because you're not dealing with any wind gusts right now. So consider yourselves lucky. Go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back because you did it. We're not dealing with wind gusts in some locations, thankfully. What we are dealing with, north winds, south winds meeting together, and that's creating some uh, issues right along that line for those 16 mile per hour wind gusts. It's also creating and sparking up some showers and thunderstorms. What a night last night. We did have some severe thunderstorms that were attempting to make their way into our area, but thankfully it started to die off ever so slightly as they push from west to east. This morning we do have some widely scattered to scattered showers and storms. What does that mean? About a 50% chance we're going to hold on to that. We could see it a little bit more of an uptick uh, this morning with a little bit of a break, and I'll let you know when that break is because that's going to be very important for today. Flood watch is in effect through tomorrow morning. Any counties in that green are under that. So basically by 44, there you go, separating us just to the south. That's where we're going to see the bulk of the rainfall, and we're talking a lot of rain in a short amount of time. Here's what we've seen so far, a good soaking, especially counties south of Tulsa, a little bit further north, uh, right around a quarter, if not a little bit more than that quarter of an inch, that is. Bristow, with that severe thunderstorm yesterday that made its way towards your area, that's why your rainfall toes a little bit higher than what we're dealing with here for our area. But what we're dealing with, in addition to those rainfall totals, we're going to throw this on top of it. So this is what we're looking at on top of what we've already seen and why that's creating some issues. We're talking two to four inches on top of some areas that have already seen over an inch of rainfall. I do anticipate some of these showers and storms to start training, and I'll show you that here in the future track. And when they start training, that's going to go over the same location for a long period of time, and that's going to be able, capable of putting down about five to six inches rather than that two to three that you were seeing on those projections. So a lot of rain, and that's why it's causing concern for today. 90% chance early on. I told you you get a little bit of a window with increasing chances later on tonight. Let's talk about these temperatures as well because you need to prepare for this. Have the rain jacket ready to go. Although it's warmer just to the south, you're thinking, I don't need that rain jacket. It's not feeling that great out there. It's a little sticky out there. Temperatures in the 60s. Yeah, those 50s are headed your way. We're going to keep those 50s around for a good portion of the day today. Topping up maybe those 60s here for Tulsa. It's going to depend on how many breaks we can get for the afternoon, which right now I'm not seeing a whole lot of breaks. So a soggy Sunday is anticipated. Let's go ahead and set this into motion. This is right now where we're at. Here we go for today. We're going to keep a little bit of a break. There's your window, Tulsa. That's it. 11 to about 1 o'clock is your window. So, of course, you're going to have to watch the 10 to 1030 show with Julie and I. And then get out there, go run those errands, get back home because that's when the rain is really going to start to pick up again. Almost acting like a conveyor belt that we'll be pushing across. Not going to rule out the potential for some heavier pockets of rainfall as well as some penny-sized hail. So we could have some severe threats sneaking in there, but they would be few and far between. The main threat will be this rainfall. Again, it's still pushing over the same area. If you're further north, not really getting in on this, could have a stray shower further south. That's where the bulk of the precipitation will be at. This will be pushing out of here by tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning we'll be talking about north winds and cooler temperatures, not the rainfall, thankfully. But today, let's take it easy. Remember, turn around, don't drown. It is one of the leading causes. 67 for your high tomorrow, the low 42, 70 by your Tuesday, 76 on Wednesday. Isolated showers Thursday into Friday. The system looks to be out of here by Saturday because a lot of weekend plans are being impacted by this <laughs> rainfall, Julie. Isn't that the truth, Anne?